Hello and welcome to Sport Conditioning. As you can see, I have changed locations from my backyard or my basement. I am currently working on getting the gym back up and ready so that you can come in and do workouts in a nice facility with all the equipment. So that would be great. Um, for today's workout though, I'm going to pretend that I'm at home and I only have home equipment. So for our first circuit, we're going to do inverted rows and you may need to do some setup for this. So I've shown this in Strictly Strength before. What you would do is take a berm handle or I use my ski poles and then you would set it up between two chairs or if you have like a narrow alley like kitchen type thing, that would work as well. And then all you're going to do for this exercise is Set yourself up so that your chest is underneath and then you're just going to use your arms to pull yourself right up and then coming back down. So right now I'm demoing the modified version which is with bent legs. If you're feeling really strong then you can straighten those legs out, squeeze your glutes, lift yourself up and then back down. You're trying to get your chest as close to that bar as you can. So get yourself set up with those. If you can't figure out how to set yourself up with those, the alternative exercise is bent over rows, going for as heavy as possible. Or if you have a chin-up bar, you can do a chin-up bar, maybe do assisted ones, or just do a flexed arm hang at the top. So those are your alternative exercises. Get that going. Other equipment will be today, is a towel or a strap of some kind. I'm going to use a strap. And you're also going to need a step or a chair just to step over top of. And then we'll just get started. So get that all together and then we'll get you warming up. Let's start with the shoulders, doing some big shoulder circles all the way up and all the way down your back. And forward shoulder circles. Excellent. Open those arms wide. Slap yourself on the back. Give yourself a big congratulations for being here today. And then swing one arm up, one arm down. Alright, let's move into the hips, doing some hurdle steps, stepping over a big tree or obstacle in your path, trying to keep your body nice and tall as you bring that leg out and around. And we'll change direction, so you're walking backwards over an obstacle, which would be a really weird thing to do, but who knows. One more each side. Excellent. Let's move into some squats. So you're going about shoulder width apart with your legs and your toes can point slightly out or straight forward. Sit your hips down and back and stand it back up. Try to pull the floor apart with your feet. As though you're ripping a piece of paper in half. Keep your chest up nice and tall. As you get warmer, you can maybe get a bit deeper into that squat. Let's go for about four more. Excellent. We're going to add in some rotation. So you're just going to twist your shoulders to the outside of that knee and then throw your arms up over the opposite shoulder. Two more to the side. And we'll switch sides. Two more. 
Awesome. Moving into our frontal plane, we'll do some side lunges. So hips down and back, feel a nice stretch through your inner thigh. Alternate sides. As you get warmer, you can get a bit lower into that side lunge. It depends on your mobility and strength. And we'll add in an overhead reach. So stretching out your side and all the way into your shoulder. and 20 high knees. Starting with those jumping jacks. It's 10. Moving into high knees, heels to butt.
Pull and resist. Don't let your body turn. You got it. And even higher up, this will be even tougher. Pull and resist. One more each way. Awesome. Oh, that burns. Okay, then we're going to swimmers, which are our cores. Yes. So, 45 seconds. These are quite challenging. You are on your belly. Arms overhead. Lift everything up. Just raising opposite arm and leg. Trying to stay nice and stretched out. If that's too much for you, you can rest on the floor instead of raising everything up. And if that's pinching in your shoulder, then just bring your hands or your elbows back. Ready? Here we go. Keep it going. Twenty seconds left. Reach out, squeeze your butt to lift your legs. Ten seconds. Two and one. Excellent work. Okay, so that's one circuit. Let's do it two more times. Back to your inverted rows. Six to eight reps, make them hard. That's the goal. Pulling your chest up to that broomstick or bar. Whatever you're holding, try to get your hips up. Drive those elbows down, chest goes up. Breathe. Awesome job. All right, jumping lunges, everyone's favorite. Or reverse lunges, your option. Ready, here we go. Trying to bend both knees to 90 degrees. Leaving both legs at the same time. Trying to also land on both legs at the same time. This is your alternative. It still burns. You have 15 seconds left. up a bit higher. Don't let your body twist. Raising up should be the toughest. Awesome job, shake that out. Swimmers for another 45 seconds. Ready, here we go. Reach tall, lifting your chest and your legs up. Working the back side of your body. Breathe. 
Up the level, 